It's been realistic and intense. After a busy training season this autumn, the NATO Response Force 2014 has been certified. NATO's Rotational Quick Response Force is now ready and capable to deal with a variety of potential missions anywhere in the world. They could range from humanitarian assistance to terrorist threats or collective defense, including high-intensity combat as demonstrated during this media day of the final certification exercise Steadfast Jazz in Poland. We sent the message that we constantly work to improve our ability to work and operate together. And of course it is a message of clear determination to defend our allies. Exercise Steadfast Jazz was also a demonstration of NATO's greatest strength, effective multinational military cooperation. It involved some 6,000 Army, Air Force and Navy personnel from all 28 NATO members and many partner nations, while NRF personnel from all three forces trained together in a week-long live exercise command and control staff were put to the test at a temporary NRF headquarters in Riga. Officers there had to demonstrate their ability to deal with scenarios that range from fending off simulated cyber threats to organizing humanitarian assistance or commanding complex counterinsurgency operations similar to the NATO mission in Afghanistan. Now we draw down to in Afghanistan and we have available forces ready to exercise and nations want to engage to keep this cohesion uh, amongst uh, allies and also to reach out to partners. Uh, and I think that is uh, why we have changed the uh, main point of effort, if you will, from operations in Afghanistan to training in the future. The rigorous program of training and exercises NATO has conducted this autumn marks the beginning of a new strategy designed to ensure that not only the NRF but the alliance at large remains connected and capable for the future. I'm Mike Mühlberger reporting for the NATO Channel.